Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Llama Academy. Basically, it's a new project aimed to teaching GPTs, which is a generative pre trained transformer. And it's basically showing you guys how to read API documentations using Llama, which is another large language model for APIs. And it also utilizes LoRa, which is Llama Oracle for APIs, as well as Langchain, which is language model chain. And this is something that I've highlighted previously in my videos. And what the goal is, is that this project is trying to enable GPTs to learn and use new APIs such as Stripe and Notion, or even your own products API. And this is quite revolutionary guys, cause then you're gonna be able to host different API documentations and it'll basically teach different language models as well as applications on how to code and utilize certain types of prompts to actually help you with certain generations of maybe websites. It might be utilized for JavaScript and many different things for different software developers. But with that thought guys, before we get into the gist of that, I have a lot of videos and a lot of content that might be very beneficial for you guys. So I highly recommend that you check it out. I'm continuously going to be uploading stuff and always going to be providing you guys with the best content. So I highly recommend that you check out all my other previous videos as it's very detailed and there's a lot of value that will definitely benefit you. And with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you guys can do so. Please turn on the notification bell, like this video, and comment anything that you want to see in the future updates as I'll try my best to upload with the pace I have. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So as I talked about, Llama Academy has basically the potential to be a viable as well as a very valuable tool for software developers. And this is something that I'm going to be explaining in today's video where I'm going to be showing you guys a demonstration of what it's trying to do explain you guys a little bit more about its analysis gonna show you guys the flow chart of how that data is basically flowed through i'm gonna talk a little bit about the installation but i'm not gonna be showing you guys how to install it because this is basically a, for research purposes at the moment it's basically open source at right now at this moment but you're not able to not everyone will be able to install it because of the requirements which i'll talk about a little bit later but this is a very hardware intense like application so you might need a lot of different like requirements to actually run this capably on your actual local desktop so before we actually get into all that i'm going to be talking a little bit more about the analysis of what this actual application is and some of the use cases and as we talked about it's basically going to be teaching llamas how to, on how to code basically through different gpts and it will read api documentations now llama academy has been able to allow developers to do this so much easier and it's very easy to like quickly learn and use different apis including their own products api and not only is it able to use just notion as well as stripe but it's able to utilize different types of web api api sorry as well as your own products api which could be very beneficial for a lot of different software developers now obviously with llama academy developers can also host their own api implementation instead of just hosting api documentations which is something that a lot of people are very frustrated with now this project has been created by daniel gross and i highly recommend that you check it out guys uh, i'm gonna leave all the links down in the description below uh definitely give this guy a follow as well as support the actual project by giving it a star as well as maybe installing it locally if you have the capabilities to do so now the api docs as well as running the script is through llama which is another large language model and this basically is something like mini gpt where it can be hosted on the developer's server and it allows users to call it to generate different api glues now this can save developers so much time and effort from building softwares that relies on apis and this is something that i'm going to be showing you guys in this demo and what daniel does is that it basically he's saying that it's showing llama how to write api code and it's not just through chat gpt plugins but you're able to actually do this by fine-tuning the model and learning how it can talk to notion which is another application by reading its api docs and we can see this in the example right here so it installs all the packages and all the language models and what the human does is it gives it a prompt get me all the comments from a specific page from using notion api 
and the assistant, the model, actually like the application is going to use JavaScript as well as work towards creating this code. And we can see at the end, it's able to formulate the actual API notion and is able to talk to notion with this API and you're able to get this code. And this is just a little example as to what they've been able to pertain with their application. So uh, this is quite remarkable, guys, is, as it's going to save a significant time and effort from building softwares that rely on APIs. So this is quite remarkable. And I definitely recommend if you're interested in this, obviously, check a, take a look at it. But this is something that they're continue, like, continuously working on. And it's not something they've even noted that it's not something that is released at this current moment as it's still currently under construct construction. So it's going to take some time before it's actually fine tuned and released with the actual official release as they haven't even released packages to like sincerely work towards as it's currently under instruction. So with that thought, let me now go on to the next step where I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about the flowchart as how it has to how it works. So there's basically four steps as to how this pipeline of Llama Academy is basically functioning in. And these steps are the crawling, data generation, fine tuning, and the deployment. And we can see that over here in this flowchart. Now for the first step, which is crawling, and this is where the actual Llama Academy crawls the web. Basically it sources it through different API documentations. And this first step is quite necessary as it collects data for the next step which is the data generation now in this data generation step you're able to get llama academy to use gpt 3.5 which is the free version from openai's product as well as it utilizes gpt4 models which might require you to provide an open AI, open api key as it's going to be able to generate a synthetic data and what this is done is that what can be done with this is that by using the collected API documentation to generate the code, it also uses snippets and relative text from the first step to generate the data. And then it uses to actually fine tune using Vicuna 13B model in the next step. And with this next fine tuning, we're able to get a fine tuned version of the synthetic data that is generated in the previous step. Now with this step, it takes a crucial step towards like actually improving the model's ability to understand and generate code that is actually related to your first step which is the crawling where it sources from website data to get the right information for your code and lastly it's obviously going to take the next steps to deploy it and what it does is that it involves hosting the new newly fine-tuned model on the actual server it depends if you're using like a local computer you might source it through your local desktop but users can basically find and then call the model to generate code related to the api's documentation that was crawled from the first step and we can see this in this example over here where it starts off with the reference that you give it and it sources it through different data sets as well as on the web and what it next does is that it uses GPT models. In this case, you can use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. And from this, it's basically sourcing as well as looking at synthetic data that to generate the actual context of your API documentation. And from this, it is sent to the vector store, which is the API docs. Obviously, it could be sent to another LLM or in this case, we're going to be using Vicuna 13B model which is used to fine tune it. And once that is done, it is deployed to the final step in which it is hosting the newly fine tuned model on an actual server. And this is something that we can see. And in this case, they've prompted it to calculate the 20 day moving average for the stock symbol, Apple. This is Apple's stock uh, ticker. And it basically determines if the current stock is above and below the average. And what it does is that it sends it through the crawling phase. The next step is it uses GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 model. And from the data generation from the of the synthetic data, it then fine tunes it using Vicuna's 13B model. And from that, it is able to deploy it onto a server and we, which we can see over here from its, from the code that we get over here. And something that is cool to note is that it uses both 13 or 3.5 GPT 3.5 as well as GPT 4 models to generate the synthetic data. And we're able to see that they're continuously working on different, like obviously different models to actually get you different parameters for data searching as well as 
to give you the best generative context of your code and this is something that they're going to continue to work on guys because this is just the start of what their project is and this is fairly new as it was something that was released very shortly around like early april april 19 obviously it was the post about what it is trying to do and this is something that they're continuously going to be working on so it's great to see as well as have a tab on this project because it's going to be something that could be very viable to use for different software developers now in terms of installing it guys one thing before you even try to install it make sure you have the hardware requirements obviously you can have it on a google collab but at the same time you need to have the right gpu to actually run this because it is very tech heavy because if you can read this right over here the code is tested with one rtx which is an instance of in vast.ai and the thing is the peak ram is basically 27 gb therefore any gpu with ram that is greater than 30 gb will be safe for fine tuning so that's basically saying that if you do not have anything uh, if you have any type of ram that is below 30 gb don't even try guys because this thing is gonna wreck your pc or whatever laptop or anything that you have because this thing is going to require a lot of ram to actually fine tune as well as use this application so i highly recommend that you wait it out a little bit wait until it gets posted on different web servers so that you can actually start working and learning how to use it online obviously if you do have the requirements it is quite easy to run it you just have to have git python and visual studio code to actually install it on your local desktop uh, i have a rough demonstration of how it works on my previous videos so if you want to check that out definitely do so there's in each of these different lm videos i actually give you a rough outline of how to actually do it it's quite fairly easy but just make sure that you have the right requirements to do so now in terms of its plans we'll be going over some things as well as their roadmap as to what they're trying to achieve Something I also wanted to note before I get into the next part is that the code files on this repository on GitHub, they're able to provide certain like understanding, like descriptions of what each folder is. So I definitely recommend that if you don't have any idea of what these folders are, definitely have a read through of these as you'll get a better understanding of what it actually means. And make sure that if you're going to be using this, you have your API keys as well as the different requirements that they actually have and this is something that you can read on their page now in terms of the actual project's potential this project is going to be quite useful for a lot of cases as i stated before but firstly the one thing that i wanted to talk about is how it aims to tackle a problem that has been challenging in the field of ai which is teaching gpts how to read and understand api documentations this is an important problem to actually solve it a lot of different potential like progresses that developers might have as it's a significant amount of time that will be cut if this project is able to proficiently innovate its actual application and this is going to basically help software developers save a lot of time and efficiently work on different apis and documentations now secondly llama academy is an open source project which means that anyone can actually contribute to it and actually help improve it so if you guys have the right mindset as well as the right like inf like understanding of how things work i definitely recommend that maybe if you are interested you can work with this project contact people such as daniel on their twitter and get a better understanding of how you can actually provide your efforts to improve this project and potentially solve more complex problems in the future and the second feature that was actually talked about is how they're going to basically implement a flash attention. And these are some of the things that they're going to continuously work on. So I highly recommend that you keep a tab on this, guys. Obviously, this is a project that is under construction. So keep that in mind before you start to use it, because this is something that will be that a project that will continues continuously innovate. So keep a tab on this because it's going to be something that could be a potential breakthrough. But with that thought, guys, I hope you found this video informative and you were able to get some sort of value out of it. I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. Uh, definitely give a shout out. I'm definitely giving a shout out to Daniel for creating such an amazing application. Uh, definitely leave a like as well as a star on the GitHub because this is something that is going to support these guys in producing different types of applications. Now, with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so. If you want me to upload anything, definitely let me know. 
And with that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like, and comment. And with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Keep it small, and I'll catch you guys with the next upload. Peace out, fellas.